also had a very strong mom right. who made me and my sisters understand that there were no limitations on our lives except what we placed on ourselves. You grew up in Alabama. Yes. I've never really heard you talk about what it was like for you from a race perspective. I was a child of the 70s. I, I didn't feel like there was a difference. It is amazing that you never felt that. It's sort of miraculous. And maybe it had to do with having a big family and like you said, a really yeah. strong mom. You were very... You were protected in a I lot was of ways. Very, I was very, I mean, we were very sheltered too. My mom was very strict and, uh, you know, a God-fearing woman, you know, if it wasn't in the ways of the Bible, right. just, you know, religion, your faith. Um, but she taught us to see people as people, all people, and taught us to understand our place in the world. And our place in the world is if you want to be a leader, you can be that. Um, there was no glass ceiling. Until I got into the real world and realized there are <laughs> glass ceilings everywhere. <laughs> oh my God, I have a headache and hitting these glass ceilings. <laughs> and was was your father around? No, my mom was a single mom. Single mom. Mm -hmm. And worked as a maid. She worked as a maid. She had several jobs. I, I would love to say she did one thing. She had several jobs to put food on the table. And I, it's just a very noble woman. And I credit her for the person that I am today. Feet firmly on the ground. You lost your mom when you were 18. Yes. So she never got to see your real, your success as an actor. It's funny, now there's so many things that I would like to know about her. Mm -hmm. That I, I uh, there are conversations that I'd love to have. But I think she gave me the necessary foundation to be able to do what I do. I. I think you have to have blind faith in yourself and your ability. And you have to not know that there's a wall there because if you're constantly looking for barriers, then they will be there. Do you feel like she's sort of there with you every time another barrier is broken for you? Absolutely, absolutely. My mother always made me understand that at the end of the day is how you feel as a person and how you've treated the people around you. I'm grateful for that. I, 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 I'm, it's, I really wish that people, you know, had the mother that I had. I really do. She really, really prepared me for the crazy that is this industry. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. She didn't, she didn't know how crazy it was going to be for you. No, I'm going to yeah. go to L.A. and I'm going to be an actress. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Yeah. You have to not see boundaries in order to, to, you have to see the sky as a limit. Otherwise, you will never get off the ground. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.